Oh. Hey, bro. Let me turn this down. Welcome to the Adventure Bro Show. And I'm Adventure Bro number one. Today, we're going to be doing an interview with a fisherman. So I've got some questions here, and this is gonna help you guys learn a little bit more about who we are, what we're about, where we're going, and to see what else we can bring to you guys on this show. So let's get it started off really quick. Where fishing started. So growing up from a young age out in Beaumont, Texas, our dad and our grandfather took us fishing all the time. Freshwater fishing, saltwater fishing, using bobbers, using worms, shrimp, shiners, anything that we could get our hands on just to have an outdoor experience. And that's where we found our passion for fishing. So here's another question. Where's our favorite place to fish? Well, we have a, a spot back home called Chicken Crossing. Don't know why they started calling it Chicken Crossing. I believe it was these marsh hens that always cross the road. But that's our favorite place. That's one of the places we grew up fishing from the bank. We've caught our biggest catches there, our most catches, and we've actually, you know, gotten a boat now, so we actually can go back into the marsh and fish what's called Texas Bio. So why did we start this adventure channel? Uh, we wanted to bring more visibility to uh, people that look like us in this industry. Um, just looking at it as a whole, I never saw someone growing up that resembled me in this business, in this industry, in having a passion for fishing. And I really just wanted to bring this to our millennial age group because you don't see it anymore nowadays. Uh, we're all tuned into our phones, on the you know TV, on the games and everything like that. And it's not much outdoor adventures that you see us embarking on. So I'll be sure to bring all those adventures to us. So my hobbies outside of fishing. Guys, I do a lot of things. I'm what people call a jack of all trades. I play football. I do, you know, some trading uh, in the stock market. That's where the venture comes in. Uh, one day I you know, want to be a venture capitalist or do a lot of big time investing or big time business building outside of this. I also do uh, mentorship and have a vision engineering program that I do with people who want to be at a better place than they are today in their life. So those are my things and hobbies that I do outside of fishing. Going into fishing, what brands do we rely on? Now, I know you saw this earlier this is just a dude perfect rod and reel with a golf ball and a cornhole for a little game it's for kids it's for casting i'm going to use it to catch some bait we don't rely on that brand but it is a fun thing to do shout out to dude perfect been following you guys for a very long time but we rely on for bait casting um Luz and calcutta for spin casting pin and Daiwa. Actually, one of my favorite real salt water now is a Daiwa Samurai that's only available at Dick's Sporting Goods. And I really didn't have any idea about this reel or rod combo until I saw a deal come in through my email and I bought it, bought two of them. They were like $24. It's real easy for anyone to get in and buy a fishing setup. And that leads in to the next question. What are the top three things for someone who wants to get started in fishing? The main things you need, guys, is a rod and reel combination, like we just talked about with the Daiwa Samurai. You need a lure or some type of bait, line, and hook. And then you need a place to fish. If you are just driving along the road and you see some body of water along the highway, that's a place to fish. You can fish from the beach, you can find a local lake, pond, or stream. And guys, this is what I always say, keep your lines in the water. So what's the biggest, weirdest, or craziest thing you've ever caught? <laughs> well guys, out here in Destin, I don't know if you saw this thing, but I caught an iPhone 11 
that was the craziest thing I've ever found in the water. But the biggest fish I've ever caught, it would probably be that 65 pound black drum that we have featured on the YouTube channel on the She Hooked It and I Reeled It video. Be sure to go check it out. I'll put a link right here for you to click it and view that video. Now, just to close this off, I'm gonna say, I guess, um, I'm gonna give an answer to this last question, is where do you see your channel in two years, or what do you want this channel to become? And, you know, when I look at this Adventure Bro um, fishing channel, or Adventure Bro just business as a whole, I want it to be something that people get enjoyment out of. They get satisfaction watching these experiences because they might not be able to go out and have those experiences. But also I want it to, to be real. I want it to be unscripted, raw, and for you to see that we're actually real people. And if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, you can contact us and we'll reply. We will try to reply to every single uh, you know, rational comment, rational question, rational message that we get on any social media platform, on YouTube, or even on our phones. Because I'm open to this and this is a passion that I have and I want to be able to help as many people out there as possible. So guys, if you like this video, you like our channel, or you're a fisherman just like us, be sure to tag us in your next biggest catch. Tag us on Instagram at Adventure Bro Show. Tag us on Facebook. Find us somehow and just tag us, man. And if you have a question, just shoot it out to us and we will be sure to get it answered. This has been Adventure Bro number one and we're signing out of the Adventure Bro Show. See you on our next adventure. Oops. <laughs>